And we're back. We're back at it. We are here in the merchant town. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. As you can see here. Bam. Bam. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. Oh, look at that beautiful sun. Can we just take a moment, please, and just look at that beautiful sun? Oh, gosh. It's wonderful. No, it really is. This game is is wonderfully vibrant and wonderfully colorful. Uh, and it makes me feel very good. Oh, wow. Windfall Island, it is called. Windfall Island. Wow, I really like... Everything is really promptly named. Very, very well named. Okay, cool. Let's see what's going on here. Kids? Okay, what's, what are they up to? What? Can't you see we're busy? Uh, you're kids, you can't be that busy. I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you could just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers. Okay, jeez. Uh, excuse me, I burped a little, but... What is the, uh... What is going on in this town that uh, the kids are this jaded? Well, I guess that's a good thing, right? They shouldn't be so trusting. But we're like the same age! We're not really the same age, but... Alright. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something? Weird like that. What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. Uh, I never accused you of anything. Look at his stop, though. Man is ready for the Olympics. Alright. Alright, you, you, you guys... You're not strange, um, it's good for you guys to be jaded, but, uh, try to be a little bit more open-minded here. We're on an island. Like, if something happens, they're gonna figure out who it is very quickly. There's not many places that people can hide. Jeez. Alright, cool. Um, who's this? He looks like one of the pirates, right? Let's talk to him. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. All right, wait. Let me let me look at his face and see what, it, what voice he does. I got a black splotch pig too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I've let him ashore to graze over yonder, but the thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. Well, go go check on him. I mean, what a sweet man. Everyone's really sweet in this town. No, okay, so the 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 man is very sweet, but the kids are, are jaded and paranoid about strangers. Um, very strange. Very strange indeed. I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, hold on. Let me get my bearings here. I get very disoriented when I move too quickly. So... This is the house. Very nice. And this is the shore. And this is the house over here. This place is very beautiful. Um, okay. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Alright. Who says my apologies anymore? I only do it when uh, I'm alone. It's very nice. It's very polite. Ooh! Hello. Oh. Oh! Oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Alright. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Uh, what? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here, I stand begging. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't make you a single rupee. What does that even mean? What is the implication there? I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay! Well, what are you trying to make money off your daughter for? I don't understand you. I don't I don't think I want to bring your I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. Isn't that like a meme, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. What is that from? Alright, what does this man want? Is that a woman? This is a peaceful place, this here island. The people here would never even dream of leaving their little paradise and setting sail on a voyage at sea. You know what I mean? Why, this town is full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in the sails of a ship. Are we sailors the only ones? Has no one else set out on the great sea? I feel like I'm in the right place here for a sail. Um, actually, hold on, let me just check because I'm by myself. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check the audio. Make sure it's recording because, you know, that would be very bad if all of a sudden we've, we figure out halfway through this that it has not been recording. Okay, excuse me. Sorry. All right, let's move on. Ooh, I love that Olympic stop he does. Like, wait, hold up. It's not Olympic stop, but it's, it's, wah! You know what I'm saying? It's not good for your um, knees, I don't think. Um, 
This dock is very strange. Who is who's washing this? Who is washing this dock every week? What is the taxes like in this town? Look at this dock. It's so well kept. Especially for a merchant city. You say you want to sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding with me. Oh, tell me you're kidding with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your head a little more. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. All right, man. I uh, maybe you could just help me out. You know? Why does his head look like a paintbrush? All right. I guess it's not that important. All right. So we're going to. I guess you know if this were like a normal world we would walk like this right we would walk like this we would walk like that right all right uh i can't read that it's hillian right can't read that Ooh, i like this so let me get my bearings again excuse me um this is the entrance to the town this is the outskirts of the town and that is a house i want to go check that out first Let's go check that out. That's a really low note. Alright, cool. I always love house music in, in Zelda. Oh, bomb shop. This would be the bomb shop. Hey, there you go. Go on and use this to look around. So, those cost how much exactly? I'm like the only person left in the world who would still work in the bomb industry. Which means I'm the best in the world. And which means I don't go selling my work without approving of who I sell it to. And I don't approve of you, so beat it. Uh, excuse me? He don't approve of me? What kind of, what kind of mafia scam is this? Who, who's, who is this man? Uh, Alright, cool. He doesn't approve of me, so he won't sell to me? I thought you were trying to make money. I guess he is trying to make money off of me. I gotta earn his respect. Thirty thousand dollars? You're out your damn mind. That's a that's a that's a new car. Actually, right? I don't know how much cars cost nowadays. I feel like that's something I should be aware of, right? I am twenty years old. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. What is over here? I just wanna Okay, I guess we're going that way. I didn't really want to do that, but I wanted to go check this out anyway, right? Oh, please tell me I can get up. I can't get up. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Is there a way to go faster? No, there's not a way to go faster. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go to shore. I'm gonna go to shore. I'm gonna go to shore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't die. Okay. Alright, let's go up. I really like this music. Uh, Alright, now we're in town. Talk to the first person you see. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I'm looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall Crown my way back, way back when. I'm still looking better than all the young girls, younger girls I know. Hoo hoo hoo. Uh, if those feet, you know, if you could show me some, if you could show me what's going on down here, maybe I could give you a more, a more, uh, a more accurate, uh, score here, a more accurate, uh, Opinion. Why was I looking for that word? I was looking for that word for way too long. Uh, no, you are not fine. Uh, you're a little bit too old for my taste. What does this say? Let's check this out. It looks like that is a man drinking alcohol, but there's a snake coming out of it, right? It's a man with a potion. So this is the potion shop, I would assume. Oh yeah, tell from the music. Oh yeah, man. Hello, hello, and hello. You're standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Shoe Shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Hmm? What's that? What's Chew Jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered. Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just... Ask yourself this, good sir. What is robustly nourishing element? What is a mystically subs what is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. I'd say like spinach, avocado, um, 
or nourishing element. I mean, we need trace elements uh, like like heavy 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 metals like arsenic and mercury, very small amounts. Um, but mystical substance, I mean, I don't I don't know. The words chew jelly roar out in the answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Hmm. So, this man is willing to give us a taste of anything he's got back here. All these mystical all these mystical drugs he's got po cooking back here. Some of them are like deadly. You see those skulls? I'm, he's not he's not tricking me. I don't want to taste those, but that blue one, that pink one. Oh, that pink one looks good. Hold up. I tried to use the telescope. Let's check out the pink one. That looks actually quite good. It looks very good. It looks like it tastes like bubble gum. So, yeah, I'm interested, but I do not have an empty bottle, my good sir. So I apologize, and I'm outie. Uh, let me check what I have, actually. I'm in the shop. I have 200 bucks, so rupees. I have 200 rupees, which is pretty good. Rupees is the currency in India, right? Uh, I have a bag. I have a telescope and I have a spoils bag. This bag is probably meant to hold up eight different kinds of items that defeat enemies. Drop, press Y, X, or Z to see what you have inside. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. The droid pen. Wow, this looks like I shouldn't go in just because of how fancy it is. Uh, you know what? We'll swing back to it. You're looking for a sale. I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Drop anchor elsewhere. All right, man. All right, um, Donnie Darko. Fucking, well, I guess Donnie Darko wasn't really depressed, right? That's a good reference. What, what's uh, what does he remind me of? I don't know. I do not know. I could not say. Uh... Hold up. Um, I gotta put my headphones in. Okay, sorry. My headphone fell. My Man, all these technical difficulties are impeding us from moving on. Ooh. Ooh. Secret alleyways. I trust it. Let's go down it. Ooh, nice little platform here. I would, sh I would relax here. If this was my town, like, this would be my spot. I would come sit here. I'd grab a beer. I'd grab some nuts. I'd sit down on the side here. Talk to, to Downer in the dumps over there. Downy Debbie over there. And, um... I guess I wouldn't really talk to him that much. Try to figure out what's wrong with him. Have a little beer, you know, be a good time. All right, let's check this out. Ooh. I like this town a lot. It's got a little secrets everywhere. Oh, a girl. Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on the outside island, who lives on outset island, sent this outfit to me. Don't we live on outside? Island? She's an amazing girl. She could put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. I know her. We know her. She's a cutie. Just like just like you. You're kind of cute, right? Mm, in a way. In a way. Uh, I think she's supposed to be stylistically Asian, right? With the eyebrows up in the air like that. And uh, the posture very straight. Hands in front. Yeah, she's. I think she's supposed to be Asian or maybe Hispanic. She also has pointy ears. There's a conspiracy here. Look at that. See that? I'm not playing games with me. I'm being followed by children. You stink, Mister. We ain't seen your face around here before, but I will. I will. I will destroy your lives, you kids. Are you really circling me like a like we're in West Side Story right now? This is. This is a big issue, okay? I'm not. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for. See, look, look. They're such punks, right? They'll they'll circle me, but I push them, and they don't do nothing. They don't. You, they don't want this action. Look at this. I just push them around. They don't do nothing. I have a sword and a shield. Get out of my face. They did right when I said it. You saw that? They're running. Oh, this, this is nice. Yep, the sailors like us. To sailors like us, the wind's our whole life. It'd be sure nice if a fair wind blew today. I agree, Mr. Minnesota. I agree. Uh, I'm going to call him Mr. Minnesota. Mr. Minnesota. Alright, cool. Uh, those are the... That's the local gang, you know. You don't want to go in their part of town, you know. They'll, 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 be, they'll fuck you up just right. Look at... You see him? Him? They call him... Uh, Shanky Sherlock, okay, they, he, he's he's known by that, Shanky, uh, and, and that's uh, artistic art there in the back, you know, he's a little bit slow. Um, I don't know how accurate that th those observations were. He kind of looks like Stewie Griffin. Anyway, 
This looks like a school because of chalk on chalkboards. Uh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Uh, it is a school. <laughs> welcome. Uh, welcome. What was that voice? Welcome, Mr. Mary School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? Are you a new pupil? I am indeed not. I graduated high school. Thank you very much. I do not want to go back. Well, you know, I would I would go back to high school. If, if given the opportunity to relive those years, I would. Um, a second time because I had a great time in high school. Um, in general, like I, my life is pretty good now. Like life continues and, and life's moving on greatly. Uh, and I'm, I would relive 19 years old too. Yeah, uh, th that was a lot of fun, but I didn't have a bad time in school. Elementary school too, I had a good time. My life's been pretty good. Uh, this man, let's go talk to this man. Hmm, no, I would have to say that I've never seen your face before. Mmm, now, intriguing, beguiling. I know you're just a small child, but I found one can rarely trust strangers. Where does it you come from, young sir? I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary. Once long ago, I rented a room out to a traveler for a single night, the next dawn my precious picto box was stolen. Tell me, young sir, why are good deeds so often replied with cruelty? I spread kindness where I can, and still my box does not come back to me. It's a sad thing. You may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy, and be gone. Shoo, shoo. Uh, you need therapy, um, because if that, if just one instance of, of, of cruelty caused you to be that jaded and that paranoid, like, you, you're really a fragile human being and something really must have, some, someone did something bad to you, like, you, you need therapy, so we're gonna leave, we're not gonna do that for him. Um, alrighty, 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 Windfall Island, I'm a big fan. So, we've seen the school, we've seen the poster top, we've seen that man, uh, we've talked to her, she's, she knows our friend. It's a small world after all. Ooh, I don't want to go in here. Seems kind of... Seems kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, this doesn't seem that bad. Alright, it's a dude. Hey, welcome. <laughs> That's just what's his voice. Hey, it's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play what? Um... I don't got that kind of money. No? Whatever. Come back soon or not. Well, what kind of game is it? Like... Alright, I haven't... Alright, fine, I'll play the game. I'll play the game. You sold me. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Duvasky. Look sharp, for we, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows that schools of daily giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for, ba for battle. What? Where? Oh, oh. I see. They are these squid groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children, one these, uh, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sarah, take command of... Is he supposed to be French or German? I think he's supposed to be French. Sarah, take command of our new red to start to seek out and seek all of these finishy hidden enemies. But Devon, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. You think he's supposed to be German, actually. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use to move the cursor and press A to fire. I'm, I'm going between French and, and German. You yeah, and be true. That is all. That is all the instructions you need. Is that clear, Sarah? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of focused on what was going on, but sure, fire. Excellent. So far, Bessela has managed to destroy all of these giant squids using only two cannonballs. May your fight is brave. What? What? Alright. Uh, so is this a guessing game? Is that me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is all guessing. So if it's not there, 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 then there might be one here. There might be one here. I guess I'll do all the corners, but it wouldn't be in the corner, right? Okay, so maybe there's one here. Maybe there's one here. Kaboom! You see? All right, I feel like that's it, right, for that one. Uh, I'll try another spot. Why would I do that? Why would I waste two cannonballs when that one wasn't working? Jeez. Oh my gosh, did it again. Oh, okay, so it eliminates one when I get it. 
All right, cool. So I just need two more. So I need, so if I want to win, I have to do this perfectly. I can miss one. So if it's not there, if it's not there, it wouldn't be adjacent to here, right? I don't think so. Maybe, oh, why would I do that when those are already there? Fuck, I really fucked this up. I could beat this. All right, and let's try, let's try, let's try this one. All right, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Really? Right next to it? Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that it was right next to it. Oh, we might be here for a while. It's the enemies. It's 10 repeats for kids. Okay, want to try again? Yes. But please don't do the whole spiel again. Okay, great. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, we're off to a good start. Oh, did you see that? Did you, did you? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Just three right off the bat. Okay. Am I the am I the greatest at this game already? Two times and I'm already the best at this game. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Oh wait, he's he's diagonal. Did you see that? Oh come on! How can you be that good? I did it in what five hits? What I had twenty? Is that it? Excellent work, sir. You did have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sir. Great. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Zella. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. Oh, thank you. Hey, I got a heart container. Fuck, I was good at that. Whoa, wait a sec. 15? Hey, that's a new record. So, uh, you get this too. You get this too. A treasure chart? Are you kidding me? I'm I'm the greatest at this game. And all that. I can tell you how fun it's been. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out of the door. Well, thank you. Are you hitting on me? Like, I'm showing a concern? Like, are you? what are you doing later? Because, uh... Cause uh yeah, I'm out of here. 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 I'm leaving you before I get ahead of myself. I'm on an adventure. Okay, I'm saving my sister. I can't get distracted by your good looks, your charm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, thank you. Uh, did I talk to you yet? Hey there, boy. Did you happen to see the? I guess he's kind of Italian. Did you happen to see the post box down in the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just set it to Y, Z, or X, and use that button to put it in the post box. It's just that easy. Before long, the reader postman will come to you deliver whoever you've sent it to. He's a handsome, hand-working fellow. I will tell you. I tell you. All right, let's go in here. It looks like a weapon shop. I think that's what it will be. Fuck, I'm, I've been getting kind of all of these right so far. Uh, but I saw the sign, you know, it's not rocket science. Oh, no, it's the same spot. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. And we all know that I'm not the greatest at this game because we saw what happened last episode. <laughs> oh, God, the Forsaken Fortress. Let's never speak of that ever again. That was so bad. I had to take a break because uh, I was not playing my best. Uh, let's see here. Oh, a coffee shop. You know what? I could go for a coffee. It's four in the afternoon, but I could go for a little coffee. Um, after this episode, I'll, I'll treat myself. I'll have a little, I'll treat myself. Ooh, ooh, pretty coffee lady. Does she have tattoos? I'm not a big fan of tattoos, but no, she doesn't. But she has nice bracelets on. She's a cutie. W welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. I will. Hey, are you, are you hitting on me? Because, like, because, like, you know, honestly, I kind of look like, like, um, not Toon Link, but Breath of the Wild Link. I think I do. Uh, but, you know, people say other people say otherwise. Uh, okay, that didn't have anything. Sorry for breaking your vase. Uh, and talk to this guy. Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can, I can believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Miller. It just breaks my heart to think about those two. Both of their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of fear and suffering in this world, huh? Um. That was kind of dark. Hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm so ADD. I, I just skipped over that. So much fear and suffering in this world. I guess he's right. I mean, fuck. Little girls getting kidnapped. Long ear only. Sounds like some serial killer stuff. It's not. It's no fun. It's no good. All right. 
Let's go... Let's go somewhere else. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm lost. I don't remember where I was at. I did all that up there, right? Everything up there. Oh, there's a man up there. And we're here now. And I'm stupid. And I... Uh, and I'm gonna drown because I don't know where Shore is. Okay, great. Oh, hey. Hey, King of Red Lions. You're, uh, you're kind of cute. You're kind of cute. All right, I'm out of here. Not like in a, in a uh, cute, like attractive way, but like in a, you're cute, you know? You, you make me, you make my heart feel good. Not flutter, but feel good. All right. Uh, can I, what is going on? Oh, there's a dude. You don't look all that familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our win for all, it may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. <laughs> well, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. You know what? I agree with him. You know what? You know what? I wish I could give him, like, a fiver. Look how smiley and happy this guy is. This guy's so... He's such a nice guy, and you know what? He's speaking facts. I don't trust you. I don't, tr I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I just... Just things have been hard lately. Alright, we're out of here. We're out of here. I'm done being a spaz. We're out of here. Anyway, yeah, man. You know what? This town is great. This guy, he knows what- Look at him stroll! All happy-like. I agree. If he turns out to be a gad, bad guy, I will be, um, very sad. Oh, and a drastic change of tone up here with the grave. Oh, but she's dancing. Or he. Oh. No, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't neat either. Hey! Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I'm tote. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Well, I like this guy. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Stay, guy. Say, guy. You know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get the intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? I do not know the rhythm, my friend. Uh, but I'm out of here. I, I love the rainbow pattern on your, uh, on your, your jacket. On your jacket. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Ooh, we're going through the back door. You know what I'm saying? Backwards. Let's get it. Fuck, it is hot in this closet. It is hot. Ooh. Alright. Let's play. It's hard. It's not hard, actually. It's actually really a lot of fun. Oh, it's twi Twinkle? Teetle? I'm I'm not the biggest Zelda fan. Um, I mean, I love Zelda, but like, I don't know his name. I think it's Twinkle. Mm -hmm. I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say he's obsessed with fairies, right? Or the f children of the forest. So could you by chance be a fairy? Yeah, fairies. Goodness, did you feel my telepathy? Telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle, Tingle knows, thing knows without you telling him. So yes, sir, Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind for I too long to be one of the. Why is his voice the same as the other guy? One of the fairy folk, and yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this drainful sort of place. How disrespectful! Please, Mister Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from the place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. Uh, you're an eccentric human being. You know, I kind of like you. Uh, I will rescue you. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that was there. I, w I just wanted to break the vase. I would have left. <laughs> Things are going rather rather smoothly by accident here. Yay! Yeah, he sounds like, uh, he sounds like Pink Guy. Um, yes! Thank you so very much. That's what he sounded like, right? You heard it. <laughs> Here's Tingle's heartfelt gift. Thanks! Tingle, Tingle, Kalu, Implimpa, become an item. He gave you the Tingle Tuner. If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect the Game Boy Advance. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Why? I don't have a Game Boy Advance. I would like to play Pokemon on the channel, though. That would be fun, even though that would take forever. Now, no matter how far we travel from this dinky saddle, souls will be as one. Spell and Tingle is going to get ready to go down to the realm of the fairy, so you just wait here, okay, sir? Uh...
Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You got Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head to the sea, then press up and check your charts to find out. Oh, shit. We will do that. And we'll also go to that treasure spot. When you go out to sea, open it. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Gotcha, Tingle. I will come see you. I do not have a Game Boy Advance. Don't forget it. He said it again. But okay. All right, Tingle. We're... It's okay, like, you don't, you don't, I would have left, I would have left, but that's great that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, that we accidentally figured that out there. Boop. And we got a rupee. And, you know, we, we started this with 20 more dollars. Oh, yeah, I played the game, I played the game, I played the game. Uh, alright, cool. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna put something underneath my butt here for a second. So, hold on. You know, I wish I had a, I wish I had a partner in crime to do this with, because then I could just be like, he could just take over and say something while I did miscellaneous actions. Wow, I really love to get stuck in walls. Like when I take sips of milk, or when I um, do when I do things that aren't related to the game. But you know, doing it by yourself is actually pretty fun. It's a lot of fun. I don't know how many times I'm gonna reference, keep breaking this fourth wall, but um. It's what's going on in my life right now, so that's kind of what's interesting. Like, you want to hear about my job? It's uh, it's, it's shitty and really hard, and I, I run around all day, and uh, I'm in better shape for it, but um, I make pennies on the dollar, or I make ten pennies, and I, uh, and I suck it up, you know? So, what more do you want to hear about that great life? Like, this is way more fun. I would love to do this for a living. Support me. <laughs> my gosh. If I, you know, even if Let's Playing only made me, like, if Let's Play made me, like, minimum wage a week, I would do it. Um, not Let's Play, but YouTube, because I, I don't only upload Let's Plays. Um, so, like, the One Piece stuff, like, theory videos and, and reviews of the, the chapter, I should be walking. Uh, and the, um, the Diet Sun vlog, and I'm, I'm thinking of, like, some other comedy stuff I want to do, because I think I'm pretty funny. I don't think I'm, like, extraordinarily funny, but I think if I put my mind to it, I can do it. So I'm trying to think of like other stuff I could do, you know. So if YouTube was my job, that would be really nice. Um, but you know, I'm not in it for that. Um, I don't think my channel will actually ever blow up uh, unless you guys support me. And, and so I should probably not break these. Oh my goodness, these are so nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, support me. I, I guess I don't have to tell you guys that, right? Like being a, thank you. I don't want to break those. If being a you, I mean, that's the dream job, right? Being a YouTuber is the dream job. And I think I'm, I think I'm entertaining. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that, you know, you have to be lucky, right? There's a lot of, all right, I can't get to that chest. I don't think. I guess I'll just break a pot because I want something to happen. I want something to come out. Yeah, there we go. You little weasel. Um, well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced vases. I knew that would happen. But if you break any more, I assume that you shall not let you go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, like, I'm not going to pay you, dude. Like, I'm sorry. I don't have the money for your high-priced vase. I can't even get to you. Come down and get my money, like, or tell me how to get up there. Uh, but I guess you guys know what I'm saying, right? Like, um, there's a lot of, like, I think there's probably, probably thousands of content creators with, like, 10 subscribers and who have had 10 subscribers, subscribers for, like, years. And they just keep doing it because they love it. And I probably will be the same way. I don't think I'll ever stop doing it now that I've started up again. Um, should I pay him his money? Like, how do I get up to him? Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I bet you there's a way. I go up there. <laughs> oh god, I'm not good at hitting any notes, but high notes especially. Oh, I bet I can go up here. Alright, uh, I guess not. I'll take those stairs instead. Seems like a smarter way to do things. Um, uh, we're gonna go left. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. See? See? We're figuring it out. Okay, let's go talk to him. I, I made it up here, man. You didn't even tell me how to get up here. I figured it out myself. Don't jump down! 
gosh, turf. Gosh. Oh, stop walking into the wall. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's talk to him. I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my once and only daughter Mila was taken away from me to be a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. So his daughter and the other guy's daughter. Um, the, the strange dude who wants to make money off his daughter and this guy's daughter. I've asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to m see my sweet Mila again, my Mila, my precious little daughter. I worry so over, so over her earth, I can't recall the last time I slept more than a week. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to the help rescue my precious daughter? Yes, I would. You are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you. But I will take the price of those vices that you broke. My entire fortune for her safety? Entire fortune? My man, you got like two couches facing each other. That's like $3,000 right there, right? So then you got this bookshelf with probably $10,000 worth of books, right? Because those are some high-end books, as you can see. So, I mean, what kind of assets are we talking? We're talking your liquid assets? Or are we talking your fortune? He's talking his fortune. So, I'll take these drapes, about $3,000 each, probably $5,000 drapes. Very nice. These windows, I'm taking those. This fireplace, are you kidding me? This fireplace? This The, um, the fireplace is kind of ghetto for your house, my man. But at least you have one, right? Ups the value of the home. Um, that chandelier, are you kidding me? That $20,000 chandelier and uh, everything is made of gold here. All right, we're getting your daughter back no matter what. Fuck the sister. I mean, if it comes down between the two of them, I mean, she'll understand. Grandma needs a, a burial. I live on, I'm from Offset Island. I don't got that kind of money. No, of course, you know, I'm joking. I'm kidding. But, um, anyway, <laughs> it's a little dramatic. Uh... Uh, yeah, I was just checking the audio levels. Okay. One of my... I think one of my earbuds is so filled with earwax that it's actually, like, clogged the earbud. And I know that's absolutely disgusting, but my body produces a lot of earwax. An ungodly amount of earwax. We're looking for a sale. I got completely lost in this world for a moment there. We're looking for a sale. Wow, this game is really well designed. You can tell because I totally forgot the mission. I checked out about everything, and yet I haven't found the way to get the sale yet. Um, damn. Okay. Nice. Uh, I talked to this guy, the dancing guy. There's a pig there, but I don't need no... I'm not trying to eat. Oh, fuck. I want to go talk to that guy. Gosh. <sighs> there better be a way to get back up to land this way because... Nope, I'm gonna die. I don't want to 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 drown. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I'm trying to, like, go through this playthrough as without the least death as possible. My first death was... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Okay. Nice. You look like a curious boy. Did you know there's an island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky period lives nearby. You're a cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. But to someone like me, a person who's never left this little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if only I had my own boat. Well, you can you can ride with me. I mean, you're not getting a round trip without a little bit of money, but like, I got room. We got room. I, You know, I'm looking for a pirate crew. And, uh... I'm Captain Turf, what's your name, you know, what can you do, can you cook, because if you're on that Sanji level, then, you know, we might get along, if you don't get that reference, it's a One Piece reference, One Piece is my favorite, it's one of my favorite things, I have a lot of favorite things, uh, did I talk to them, I don't want to interrupt their conversation, I'm not going to be rude, oh, there's a guy, my story's a strange one, I came across the cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blew, my voice keeps changing, uh, where the blizzards blow violently, heating for this town called Windfall. Heading. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that, only that escaped without so much of a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that, purchase that for me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. 
The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? That sounds great! Yes, yes, yes! Thank you very much! Indeed, I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use the funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day! Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that! You got the boat sale. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? I didn't even know that's where you bought the boat sale. This game is so well designed. It's so playable. You got a boat sale. Great. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. I agree. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Uh, I I thank you. I thank you, dear sir. You're very kind. I hope your business I hope your business prospers. I mean, you got you gotta have to put up a couple things. Let's take a look at his business. Well, he's already got a tarp. You see that? I don't know where that tarp came from. It looks like one of those shops, you know, like where that Muslims open up. No, no, I guess that's kind of is that racist to say Muslims open up? But you know what I mean, like those Indian shops. I guess from the from the east of the world, from my location, um, those shops that like, I guess with that writing, uh, like um, I guess Jewish or Iranian or what is that? What is that written language called? I guess they're all different, right? Arabic is different from the way Hebrew is written, or is it all the same, like kanji is for Japanese and Chinese? Um, I'm unsure. Let me know in the comments if you know. But you know what I mean. It's got like the same kind of thing going on. Like an Iranian spot, you get some um, that meat on the, the spit that turns, you know? You, they shave some of that down for you and you eat it up. It's really good. Um, love those places. All right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to talk to you from behind. That's rude. People from all the world... All over the world seem to gather here on Windfall and all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that that is the island where people and money come together, but you know what? Money is important, sure, but don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time and I've learned to stop and sift the flowers along the way. You know what, man? You know what, man? You know, you just, sometimes you just gotta sit out, chill out, look at that crazy guy dancing over there, take a chill pill. Right, man. Look at look at us. We're looking at each other. Wait, can I move the camera? Look at us. We're looking at each other like, you know what, man? Yeah. You know, we get a lot. We got it going on. Look at me. I look like I'm... And I got... You see the little foot? I'm, I'm pointing, but you can't see me. You see the little foot? He's got his foot up there, and he's like... Turf's like, you know what, man? You're right. And he's like, yeah, man. You know? Yeah. Life is a kumbaya kind of world but you know what i need this money and i gotta get going my man so you know you enjoy those flowers i agree with you i'm glad we got that peaceful moment together thank you sensei this is our sensei right here that's our sensei all right we're out of here so i got the sale and i saw i think i saw everything i needed to see um terrific absolutely amazing uh i'm out of here man i'm, I'm fucking <laughs> i'm out of here that was it uh, oh gosh, I fell. So let me go check with the, the the red lion before I end the episode. Oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my all and press A to climb aboard. Come next to me, pet me. Set the sail, you, <laughs> you got, okay, yeah, I know. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. Then that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use to stare if you wish to move quickly. You should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Uh... One more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of, our, of your sea chart. I have marked the place where we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press that to open the chart and confirm your position. Now a westerly wind blows. Hop on in and let it carry us to the east. Hell yeah, man. So... So... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, X. Oh! Oh, we're sailing! Oh, man! Awesome, look at us. Look at us sail. Wait, I don't... I want to put the sail away. How do I put it away? A. Hey. Look at that. Oh, the sweeping score. I have no idea which way I'm going. Oh. 
Oh, goodbye, Windfall Island. I really took off quickly. But we're out of here. Wait, I want to get in the shot. There we go. We're out of here. Okay, we're on our way. Set sail! Oh, man, that's so exciting. That's so much fun. This game is fun. I'm like a kid again. This is this is amazing. I would love to set sail. Ooh, what is that? All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. I think that's a good place to end it. We're going to explore the seas a little bit on our, on our next episode of this amazing playthrough of this wonderful game. So I hope to see you guys in uh, part four. And uh, like the video and comment on the video and subscribe for more content. Subscribe for more of this series. Subscribe for whatever I put up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.